Ready, set, launch. <laughs> launching a book may feel a bit like launching a rocket. There's stress and planning, momentum builds. It takes off and you hold your breath to see if the rocket will make it to outer space safely. And only then can you find your breath again. <laughs> I had the pleasure of actually watching a rocket launch while sitting on the beach early one morning several years ago. And it was amazing and stressful all in the same. I've also had the pleasure of personally launching three books and supporting countless others in launching theirs. And those two are really fun and really stressful. But stress doesn't have to be synonymous with the word launch. In fact, when well-planned, they can actually be really fun. On today's episode, I'm really excited to share with you some of my favorite book launch insights, and I'm pretty sure you're going to find them extremely helpful as you plan this year. Ready for takeoff? Let's do this. Hey, I'm Stephanie Fegger and Empower is my middle name. Okay, y'all know the drill by now. It's not, but I really think it should be. I believe that empowered people empower people, and I'm obsessed with empowering you, the nonfiction author, with impactful marketing strategies to help you take your important message and share it with those who desperately need it and want it and will buy it. I'm the owner and chief strategist of the Empower PR Group and the author of three books myself, including my newest book, Make Your Author Impact, Sell More Books, Increase Your Reach, and Achieve Your Why. We will actually be reading an excerpt from that book today. I have been called to merge my love for reading books, writing books, and marketing books to help nonfiction authors like you with laser-focused strategies and tactics to write books that sell, promote books to those who need and want them most, and build meaningful businesses from empowering messages. Please think of this podcast as your one-stop shop for marketing insights from an author who has been there, done that, and understands exactly where you are. So get your pins ready because I'm ready to empower you. This is the Empowered Author Podcast. When I began the Empower PR group, our whole business model was built around helping authors successfully launch their books. Seriously, I have spent a lot of time really wondering why that was the topic, why book launch was the key driver in helping authors realize the importance of book marketing and why they should invest in it. Here's where I've landed. Once an author writes their book and hands it over to their publisher, I think that they have this oh my gosh, now I have to sell it, thought. Panic sets in. Okay, what if I've spent all this time and money writing this bucket list dream only to have it never to be read by others? Or scarier question, what if it does get read by others and they don't like it? Yeah, it's stressful being an author, y'all. I know you know it. And that question may hold people back from actually marketing their books altogether. You know, marketing isn't something everyone inherently knows. In fact, it actually goes against what our gut tells us sometimes. I suspect you can't stand when people send you emails or post about their lives way too intimately on social media. So surely no one else will care about your book launch, right? You know, maybe, right? No, not true, people, not true. You don't have to tell those you are already connected to about your book because they won't want to read it anyway, right? Guess what? Also not true. Finally, launching is more vulnerable, I think, than actually writing the book. For real, I'm serious. Because there is something in our minds that tell us we can forget that people everywhere will read our books without our knowing. Like for some reason we can, but we get the heebie-jeebies when we realize we have to tell somebody, like a person, face-to-face -face about it. So we don't. You don't. And you won't until it's launch time. And then you think, oh my gosh, maybe I should. And so there are two types of authors when it comes to book launches. There is the author who wants to give their book and their message everything that they have so that they can position it for the best success. And then there's that author who wants to leave it to the categories and keywords and algorithms for them to launch the book for them. And hint, the latter just isn't going to work people. So toss that in the garbage. It just won't work. If you took the time and energy to write your book and to get it published, don't overlook launching it. I promise you will thank me later. So today we are going to touch on my top three book launch tips to help you prepare for this year. But before we do, I feel the importance of getting a deep understanding of what I mean when I say the word launch. See, book launch has various meanings depending upon who you talk to. 
Some people believe that book launch is the day that their book is live on Amazon. Others believe it's the day that they are hosting a book launch event. So I think it's important that we level set because a book launch and a book release are not synonymous. You see, your book release is the day your book is published. And depending upon your publishing approach, this could mean the day that your book went live on Amazon or up on Ingram Spark. Typically, however, this is not the day that you launch your book. When we discuss book launches, what we're referencing is the day that your book is being promoted to the masses. This is the day you begin sharing with others that the book is available for purchase and you provide them guidance on how to do that. This could be a soft launch or a hard launch. So soft launches are usually internal launches, meaning it's with people who already know you, love you, trust you, believe in you, and want you to succeed, right? These are people who already are part of your inner circle. And a hard launch is when you tell those who likely aren't how they could benefit from your book most. Okay, so you want a successful book launch. I'd love to tell you my top three tips on how to make that happen. And I just so happen to share a portion of this in my book, Make Your Author Impact. Book launch tip number one, empower others to join you. Okay, there are a lot of things in life you can do alone. Like I had a tonsillectomy a couple years ago and I had to do that one alone or asking for a pay raise. I swear. I remember the day that I asked my dad if he could just like act like me and help me do it because I didn't want to do it. (laughs) Yep. That didn't happen. And even trying to find happiness friends, like you and only you can find it. And until you decide you want happiness, it's never going to, you're never going to find it. Even if it's sitting right in front of you, there are many things that require you alone to make happen, but there are so many others that don't. As I've shared with you all before, I very much enjoy doing some of my book writing in the mountains at the Red River Gorge, not far from where I live in Kentucky. And I remember the first time that I went to the gorge, I was so excited. They have a natural bridge that we walked to and we were with another couple and they were so excited too. Well, we get up to this natural bridge. We see the height and we see how easy you could fall off. And when you're walking across and my friend who said he had no fear of heights was like, terrified. And here I was someone who proclaimed a fear of heights. And instead I shared with them, oh, come on, we can do this. I could do this. Right. So we both hiked. We all four actually hiked to the top of this beautiful landmark in Kentucky. I was trying so hard to be brave, my friends, but my little wobbly niece told a whole different story. I decided that this thing that I thought I could do, I couldn't do. And so I told my husband and our two friends, Hey, y'all keep going. When you're done with the hike, you'll find me right here because I don't think that my feet can move. (laughs) And so anyways, my uh, husband and one of our friends decided that was not going to fly. And they walked over to me and interlocked their arms into mine, empowered me to close my eyes and trust. And together with my eyes closed, I walked and we walked across that natural bridge that I was sure the next wind was just going to blow us off. Hint it didn't. And because of their support, y'all, I got to see some of Kentucky's most beautiful land. And just a few months ago, I actually walked across the bridge by myself with my eyes wide open. It was really amazing. Having a baby can feel like a solitary act. You know, you grow a baby in your belly and you're the one that has to evict him or her right from their comfy space, but it actually requires a team to do so. Doulas have made a business of it. Spouses and partners help. I know holding my husband's hand through the delivery of all three of our littles, like was game changing over here. And the nurses and doctors, let me just say are amazing. And by our third kiddo, I handpicked our nurse team and together we celebrated the miracle. It didn't have to happen alone. You know, birthing and launching a book is another great team sport. (laughs) If you think you can do it alone, guess again, friends, you don't have to, and you can't. Books aren't meant to be written in hiding, never to be shared with others, and neither are book launches. So empowering other people to join you on the launch journey isn't just a nicety, it's a requirement to a successful book launch. And let me tell you, they want to be on the journey with you. So when you empower others to join you and share with them how they can help you, 
magic happens. As you look to launching your book this year, make sure that you plan plenty of space in your book launch timeline to ensure that you are inviting other people to be a part of this journey with you. Book launch tip number two, empower others to help you. Okay. So there's nothing worse than wanting help from someone, but not knowing how, because they don't tell you what they need. I am notorious for this when I am not feeling well. And I think like telepathically, my husband knows what I want for dinner or when I don't get that perfect gift for my birthday, because I didn't tell anybody I wanted it. (laughs) Yeah, that happens. And what about when you write a book that you want the world to know about? Oh, but I don't know. You yourself don't tell a single soul. Come on, people. We can't do that. I hate to break it to you. You aren't telepathic. Neither am I. Your mouth moves to form words that are meant to be shared. And there are people who know you, who love you and want you to succeed. They would love for you to tell them exactly what you want them to do so they can help you out. When I was writing my book, I leveraged a launch team to help spread the word. And I think you should too. Now I was really nervous about what they would say, but I was more motivated by what they had the power to do. I knew that many of my connections had been following my journey for years and they were really curious what I had up my sleeves. And I knew they wanted to help me be successful in this new endeavor of launching a book. So I was surprised, but shouldn't have been about how quickly they all assembled and took action when I empowered them to help me. So as you're planning to launch your book this year, wiggle in there, a book launch team. So what all does that entail? Well, I want you to start by reflecting on why you wrote your book. And I want you to remember that when you decided to write your book, you chose a book as a tool for accomplishing a goal and other people need to help you make that happen. And I want you to audit your ideas. I want you to capture them. And then I want you to pick your top three most important reasons why you wrote your book and how a launch team could help you. This will be the basis of what you tell your launch team to support you with. I have found some of the most successful book launch teams are built around a couple things. One is helping you hit an Amazon accolade, becoming a bestseller or hitting a hot new release, doing some book promotion organically, and that they're fantastic at writing reviews and connecting you with the people who need you and want your message most. Book launch tip number three, empower others to connect you. When you think about marketing, I am going to go out on a limb and say that you get a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach because you likely think of all the things that you could be doing, should be doing. Why in the world aren't you doing, right? It feels overwhelming and confusing, but rest assured and know you're not alone. 90% or so of authors we work with go through the same spiraling of emotions and worries, even me sometimes. Okay. So I get it. When many think of marketing, they think of building relationships with cold leads. These are the people who don't have a clue who you are yet, but I want you to flip that idea upside down. Instead, what if you used your warm leads or your hot leads, those who already know you and really think you're cool to reach out on your behalf to your cold leads? All right, let me explain. Think of the last time you purchased a book. What pushed you to purchase it? I'll give you three guesses and the first two don't count. (laughs) That's because I'm pretty confident. It's because you either love the author and their work already or someone you trust recommended it. So the book selection I've been accumulating is due to those two reasons. And the first reason is really impacted by the second. I am a big, big lover, as you may know, of Mitch Album and Jodi Pico. Well, I didn't even know who Jodi Pico was until a friend recommended one of her books, and now I'm on a quest to own every single one of them. And if it wasn't for my high school English teacher, I may never know Mitch Album existed. Tuesdays with Maury was beautiful in one of his first books that I've ever read, but his other works have been even better, and I can't imagine my life without his perspective. So most people are one or two degrees away from finding you who need you. And those that you are currently connected with can be that conduit, right? There are people in your network who believe in your message and would love a copy of your book. But most people in your network 
may not be your target reader. However, they would love to share information about your book to others, recommend you, and connect you with them along the way. Let these people do it, and they can't do it if you don't invite them in on your book launch efforts. Launching a book could happen overnight, I guess. Maybe like overnight oats. (laughs) I don't know. It's probably not going to be as tasty though, because successful book launches require planning and you need to plan and execute accordingly. Today, I highlighted a piece of the launch process that was a part of my latest book, Make Your Author Impact. And I encourage you to pick that book up to get more book launch insights. Please don't forget as you're planning this year on how to launch your book to success, that you empower people in the process to join you by sharing information about you, your book, and your message. Empower others to help you by forming launch teams and empower others to connect you because there are so many people who are so happy to connect you with those who need your message most. Now, if you would like our team to help you plan a book launch, we would be honored. So visit empowerprgroup.com slash connect. Let's schedule a time to chat. Author friend, thank you for listening today and for saying yes to becoming empowered. You are destined to make your author impact and to do so likely requires a planning path to get there. We love book marketing plans and launch plans, and we would love to help you. As you know, I'm a believer that empowered people empower people. I've empowered you. Now it's your turn to empower others. 